ages ago, I did a video on the lack of scouts at West Ham. Ages, say ages ago. I mean, at some point within the last 18 months, something like that. Um, if you remember, it was sort of brought to my attention because there was an advertisement. <laughs> we West Ham were recruiting a scout, but it was, it was sort of a part-time scout on a volunteer basis. And it was once I saw the advertisement, I thought, well, what, what's this? Why would, you, why would you not pay for somebody that does such an important job? Scratched below the surface, looked at what other clubs were doing and found we were sort of bereft of any decent scouting network. Now, I want to hark back to an interview that David Sullivan did before that when he said he was going to totally reorganise the the scouting structure at West Ham. He was going to get a video analytics department and he was going to do this and he was going to do that. And then anyway, so that it, it never really, I never felt to me as though it happens. And then uh, we were down to a point, if you remember another report, where we only... <laughs> Had one scout. I laugh. I laugh. I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. But I just, I just look at it now. Now, um, David Moyes has sort of all but confirmed this. But as ever, I'm not panicking because, well, I was before, clearly, but I'm not now because it appears that he's dealing with it. And as I've mentioned previously, it appears that just a lot of the responsibility for running the football side of the club is now going to Moyes. And I've no doubt that all this was a major part of his contract negotiations. I spoke before that there was no way he was going to agree to sign a new contract without certain stipulations. I thought one of them was probably not selling Declan Rice unless it's for, I don't know, in excess of 100 million. Um, I certainly think having the final say on transfers would have been one of them as well. I think there's a, there's an awful lot of things he would want to want to have a say in and certainly not just a say the final say and one of the big ones is certainly going to be an overhauling of the of the scouting system of the recruitment procedure this much is clear he's doing that and David Moyes has done an interview with the Daily Mail and it's a very very good interview in in the interview he talks about um, Declan Rice he talks about the Czech lads he talks about um, his future at West Ham um, which is which is really good to hear and, and, and he's certainly speaking about West Ham in an affectionate way and in in a way I'll, I'll read you some of the some of it in a minute but certainly in terms of a project, which is normally not something, I don't really like that term, but I sort of don't mind if it comes from Moyes because he's got form, because he's got previous for a project, which is obviously uh, Everton. And he certainly wants to, he, he wants to recreate what he did at Everton and more and do better. And he wants to do that at West Ham. And I, I'm really pleased. So again, I, I'm sort of quite, quite chilled, if you like, about him signing the contract. But what he spoke about at the end of the interview, and it won't have been the thing that stood out the most out of all the things he said, but at the end of the interview, he spoke about the recruitment, not process, the rec recruitment department, I, the exact words escape me, which is why I'll read them to you now. Um, he said, he said, uh, I, I, he said, I've mellowed a bit, like most of us do as we get older, but I prefer to say I've become more experienced. I've a really, I've had a really good career, but as part of me thinking, is the best still yet to come? Is the best just around the corner? That's a great attitude and a, a fantastic attitude, so he should. Um, he said, the early stuff was just my apprenticeship and this is me taking the job on properly. I'm hoping that is the way it goes. I, I just like it, it's, it's forward thinking and... Um, well, you know, it's that whole, you know, what, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger sort of mantra in, in that. So he's, you know, he had a bit of a bad time at Man United. Was it real saucy, Dad? Have I got that right? I got something like that. Um, and obviously Sunderland. So he's, you know, he's saying, well, 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 that's it. This is this is now the best version of me. This is now the best moisty you'll ever get. All right. Anyway, he said, I'd like to get more silverware in the future. And my best chance of winning silverware is building West Ham up and giving them a chance. That's what we did at Everton. Uh, we got to an FA Cup final, um, we got the Champions League once, and I think with what's going on, unless you've got billions of pounds, I don't really know a better way of doing it than building up your club. Well, he's quite right. Yeah, there is one other way of doing it, and that's having the billions of pounds. If you haven't got the billions of pounds, build something. Uh, to build something, you've got to have um, a long-term strategy. You, for instance, Watford. Watford, I don't know what they've done this season, but they, it appears from an outsider looking in that they... They sack their manager every year. That, that's, the, that's the way it looks. I might have it wrong. It's, that's just how it seems. But the last six, seven years, they've, they've had a new manager almost every year. They even I was going to say they've even appointed the same bloke twice, but we've done that. So people in glass houses and all that sort of thing. Um, 
but there was ne there can never be any long term strategy from the manager. This this is different. So to do that, if you're going to build, you have to know that this guy's going to be in place. And when the manager is in place, he has to know that actually, if he's buying someone, if he's buying potential, then it's he's going to want to do that because he's going to he's going to yield the um, he's going to yield the benefits of of somebody that might might actually come good in two years time. Anyway, here's the point. He said, we have a small recruitment department and that has to be addressed because that's not the situation at any other club. We have to put that in place. We have to have a professional ethic about how we go about our business. That's really telling. Now, as I say, the interview is much bigger than that. Uh, there's lots of other stuff. And you could pick out things he said about Declan Rice and, and so on and so forth. A, a lot of it is what I would expect, expect David Moyes to say, but that's massive. He said, we have a small recruitment department. I mean, a lot of this stuff was getting denied and, and, and things like that. He said it. He's just openly come and said it. He said that has to be addressed because that's not the situation at the other clubs. We speculated this. We thought this. We actually gave examples in the video that we did of Brentford, where we've obviously subsequently gone on and done really great things. Uh, Southampton, we were looking at, do you remember Leicester's training complex and, and just all these other clubs' recruitments and speculated that actually our recruitment and the way we did it was unprofessional. It was, it, it was, it was just not the same as what the others were doing. And we even said there were League One clubs who had a bigger infrastructure for recruitment and scouting than we did at West Ham. Now, obviously, it's one thing you know, some gobby bloke sat in his shed on a YouTube channel saying it. I mean, he's more or less said it, David Moyes. Again, it's just a confirmation of, of what we suspected. However, he's got his fingerprints all over it. So, I mean, this is good. Um, it's not the situation at any other club. He said, we have to put that in place. We have to have a professional ethic about how we go about our business. There's only one way to read that. If you're saying to someone, you've got to be professional, what are you saying as a byproduct? You're saying you're unprofessional. That's what he's saying here. We have to have a professional ethic. He's saying we've had an amateur way of doing things. Again, exactly, exactly what we thought. I don't think it's quite, um, it's not explosive stuff, you know, but it, because it's no news to anyone because we suspected it, but it's, it's another thing entirely to have it sort of rubber stamped in that way. And, and this is why I think this contract is very important. It's why I think the negotiation has been quite protracted. And I don't think this is exactly the type of thing that Moyes will stipulate. I think Moyes will say, hold on a second, if we're going to do this, um, if I'm going to sign this contract, how much money have I got? Who can I keep? Who don't I have to sell? Oh, and by the way, I, I want to put my own team in place here. I, I, want, to I want to get some of the best scouts. I want to get an infrastructure. I want to get a data um, analyst and so on and so forth, all that stuff. Do you remember the story as well? See, what happens is when you hear this, you think oh, all those other stories must be true. That's this sort of almost confirms them. There was another story that when he came in, he asked where the um, the portfolio, where the data was, where the where the archive of scouted players was, because he needed to bring people in. What, what He basically came in apparently and said, what have you got? And there wasn't one. There were apparently had been a paper-based system. This is the rumour. We say allegedly, but this is this all it's all been rumour, but just so much of it's been confirmed here. Um the suggestion was that actually when we got rid of Pellegrini and we got rid of Husilos, Husilos's son, so basically they then employed the, both their children. So Husilos's son and um Pellegrini Swan Pellegrini, good name actually. Um I, 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 don't, I don't know what Husselos is. Someone. Let's call him Juan Husselos as well, um, allegedly. He had the paper-based system. When they went, they took that with them. So West Ham had paid this guy as a director of football. And as I say, allegedly, when we left, this stuff, basically, that, that's his wages. That's, that's what he was meant to be earning. That's like you working for a company and a company paying you uh, to collate a load of data, well, the company didn't own that, right? You know, when you leave, get to take that with you. That that stays. That's why some people, when they get they get escorted from their desk, don't they? That's they, you know, take your personal belongings, but they get escorted from the desk, so they can't take anything, which I, I guess are the intellectual properties of the company. I, um, as I say, look, not not my. I'm not. I'm not a corporate man. Far from it. I don't know about these things, but. 
that was a suggestion. Husilos Junior, Swan, um, took the stuff with him. So there was none. Baby boys came in. Who have we scouted? What what forwards you scouted? What goalkeepers have we got to choose from? How far have you done? Oh, uh, um, <laughs> it's nothing. Uh, there's not even a post-it note. Nothing. Literally, old mother Hubbard's cupboard. There's nothing here. Uh, this is it. Okay, so we've we've been on about that. But I like this now. I, I want to hear this stuff. Um, but I have faith that he's going to get it sorted. Because somebody needs to come in and say, no, this is not how you do it. This is not how you do it. Let's, let's put this in place. Let's put a structure. Let's put something into place now. I'm really pleased to hear it. I'm pleased he's going to do it. Um... Well done, Moisey. Good interview. Um, we, it, we can only get better. If we've done what we've done so far with an amateur um, and a small recruitment department, which is not the same as any other club, and he's, to use his words, he's going to be a dressed, then we only get better, right? We've, we've managed to... See, he's managed to get us up into the, the top six in spite of that. Just makes you wonder, what can this guy do with a real proper infrastructure behind him? I'd imagine he can do quite a lot. What I love is the fact that he is probably going to be given the opportunity to build it himself. And I really do feel with Moyes, we're in a massively safe pair of hands.